10 signs. You have low blood oxygen. Maintaining enough oxygen in your blood is crucial for keeping you alive. When you breathe in, oxygen from the air enters your lungs through your nose or mouth, travels down your trachea windpipe, and reaches the lungs. Inside the lungs, the trachea divides into smaller tubes called bronchi, which further split into even smaller tubes called bronchioles. These bronchioles end in tiny air sacs known as alveoli. The alveoli are surrounded by tiny blood vessels called capillaries. Oxygen from the air you've inhaled passes through the thin walls of the alveoli into the blood in these capillaries. Here, oxygen binds to hemoglobin, a protein in red blood cells, which carries oxygen to various parts of your body. Once oxygen is delivered to your body's cells, it is used for a process called cellular respiration. This is how cells produce energy from the food you eat, using oxygen to convert glucose into energy, carbon dioxide, and water. After oxygen is used, the waste product carbon dioxide is transported back to the lungs via the bloodstream. Carbon dioxide moves from the blood into the alveoli, and then you exhale it out of your body. This process of inhaling oxygen and exhaling carbon dioxide is essential for keeping your body's cells functioning and alive. What are some signs you have low oxygen in your blood? How can you make sure you always have enough oxygen in your blood? And what are some conditions that can cause low oxygen levels in your blood? Low oxygen levels in your blood, a condition known as hypoxemia, can be a serious concern, leading to various health problems if left untreated. Here are 10 signs that may warn of low oxygen levels in your blood. 1. Lips, fingers, and toes. Turning blue. This condition called cyanosis is where your skin or lips turn a blue or bluish-gray color. This change in color happens when there isn't enough oxygen in your blood reaching the body's tissues. Cyanosis can appear suddenly and might come along with feeling short of breath. It's an important sign that your body isn't getting the oxygen it needs, and if you notice this symptom, getting medical help right away is essential. 2. Widening or rounding of fingertips. Take a moment to look at your fingertips. In a healthy state, the area around your nail beds should be smooth, and the angle between your nails and the skin should be less than 180 degrees. However, if you notice that your fingertips have become enlarged or swollen, and your nails have a more rounded, dome-like shape. This could be a sign of clubbing. Clubbing is often related to low oxygen levels in your blood over a long period. When your body's tissues don't receive enough oxygen, it can lead to changes in the areas around your nails, making them appear more bulbous or swollen. 3. Unexplained headaches. Take a moment to reflect on any headaches you experience. A headache every now and then can be normal, often resulting from factors like stress or dehydration. However, if you start to notice headaches that come without any apparent reason, particularly if they seem to intensify when you engage in physical activity or exercise, this could be a signal of low oxygen levels in your blood. When your body doesn't get enough oxygen, especially during exercise when your oxygen needs are higher, it can lead to these unexplained headaches. This is because your brain is one of the first organs to feel the impact of decreased oxygen availability, resulting in pain as a signal that something is off. 4. Rapid breathing. When your body doesn't get enough oxygen, you might start breathing faster than usual, a condition often referred to as rapid breathing. This happens because your body is trying to take in more air to increase the oxygen levels in your blood. You may feel like you can't catch your breath, or experience a sensation of tightness in your chest. This need for more oxygen can lead you to sigh more often or exhale sharply in short bursts. Rapid breathing occurs in response to your body's attempt to decrease the acidity in your blood and improve oxygen distribution to your tissues. If you notice yourself breathing quickly or feeling short of breath regularly, especially without significant physical exertion, it could be a sign that your blood oxygen levels are lower than they should be. 5. Fatigue When your body constantly feels tired or drained of energy, even after rest, this can be a sign of fatigue. 
This often happens because your body's tissues aren't getting enough oxygen to produce the energy they need to function properly. Oxygen plays a crucial role in converting nutrients from the food you eat into usable energy. If there's not enough oxygen circulating in your blood, your energy production can slow down, leaving you feeling constantly tired. 6. Dizziness or lightheadedness. Feeling dizzy or unusually weak during simple tasks like standing up or going for a walk might point to low oxygen levels in your blood. This sensation of dizziness can make you feel unsteady, as if you might fall, and you might even notice your vision temporarily darkening, especially around the sides. This happens because the muscles and other parts of your body aren't receiving enough oxygen to function properly. Without enough oxygen, your body struggles to perform even basic activities, leading to feelings of weakness or instability. 7. Rapid heart rate. Place two fingers on the inside of your wrist. Normally, a healthy person's heart beats about 60 to 100 times a minute when they're resting. If you notice that your heart rate is consistently higher than this normal range, while you're relaxed, or if you become aware of your heartbeat pulsing strongly when you're trying to sleep, it could indicate that your blood doesn't have enough oxygen. When there's not enough oxygen in your blood, your heart tries to make up for it by beating faster. This is your heart's way of trying to pump more blood to carry oxygen to where it's needed in your body. 8. Difficulty concentrating or remembering things. If you're finding it hard to focus or remember things, it could be because your blood doesn't have enough oxygen. When your brain doesn't get the oxygen it needs, you might have trouble concentrating or keeping track of things. This is because oxygen is essential for your brain to work properly. 9. Shortness of breath. When lying down, if you find that you are propping yourself up with pillows when you lie down because laying flat makes it hard to breathe, this may be a sign that your body isn't getting the oxygen it needs. Feeling short of breath when you lie down, also known as orthopnea, can be a sign that your heart or lungs are not working properly, making it difficult for them to supply enough oxygen to your body when you're lying down. 10. Hallucinations. Experiencing hallucinations, where you see, hear, or feel things that aren't really there, can sometimes be linked to not having enough oxygen in your blood. When your brain doesn't receive the oxygen it needs, it may not work correctly, leading to possible hallucinations. This lack of oxygen can disrupt the normal functioning of your brain, causing you to perceive things that are not present in reality. It's crucial to understand that hallucinations can be a serious sign that something is affecting your brain's oxygen supply. If you experience any of these symptoms, especially if they're new or worsening, it's important to see a healthcare provider for evaluation. They can measure your blood oxygen levels using a pulse oximeter or arterial blood gas, ABG test, and determine the underlying cause of hypoxemia. How can you make sure you always have enough oxygen in your blood? If you are enjoying this content, please remember to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Here are nine ways to help ensure your blood is well oxygenated. One. Breathe deeply. Deep breathing techniques can improve your lung capacity and efficiency, allowing more oxygen to enter the bloodstream. Techniques such as diaphragmatic breathing, breathing deeply into your diaphragm rather than shallow chest breathing, can be particularly beneficial. 2. Stand up straight. Poor posture can compress your lungs, making it harder for them to fully expand and take in oxygen. Practicing good posture especially while sitting for long periods, can help maximize lung capacity. 3. Indoor plants. Ensure you're breathing clean, quality air by avoiding exposure to pollutants and using air purifiers, especially if you live in a high-pollution area. Indoor plants can also improve indoor air quality. 4. Eat oxygen-rich foods. Eating foods with lots of antioxidants helps your body use oxygen better. Try eating fruits like lemons, grapes, kiwis, and berries. Vegetables such as beets, carrots, and garlic are good, too. Turmeric, a spice, can also help increase oxygen levels in your body. Eating organ meats is another way to help with this. 5. Exercise 
Adding exercise to your routine is a great way to increase the oxygen levels in your blood. When you exercise, you breathe faster and deeper, bringing more oxygen into your lungs. Your heart also beats faster, which helps to spread this oxygen all around your body more efficiently. This process improves your overall fitness and makes your body better at using oxygen. Regular exercise, like walking, cycling, or swimming, can really help boost your blood's oxygen levels and keep you healthy. 6. Quit smoking. Quitting smoking is a powerful step you can take to increase the oxygen levels in your blood. Smoking reduces the amount of oxygen your blood can carry because the chemicals in cigarette smoke, like carbon monoxide, take up space in your blood that oxygen would normally occupy. When you stop smoking, your body starts to clear out these harmful chemicals, making more room for oxygen. This means more oxygen can reach your organs and tissues, improving your overall health and making it easier for you to breathe. Quitting smoking not only boosts your oxygen levels, but also greatly enhances your lung capacity and function, leading to a significant improvement in your well-being and quality of life. 7. Drink mineral water. To help maintain high oxygen levels in your blood, aim to drink at least 30-40 ounces of mineral water daily. This practice ensures your body stays hydrated, supporting the efficient transport of oxygen to all your cells. A tasty and beneficial drink recipe involves squeezing the juice of half a lemon into 16 ounces of flat or sparkling mineral water. Then, stir in a teaspoon of honey and a pinch of sea salt. This mixture not only boosts your blood oxygen levels, but also helps replenish your body's electrolytes, making it a refreshing and healthful beverage choice. 8. Iron Iron is a key component of hemoglobin, which transports oxygen in the blood. Make sure to eat plenty of foods that are high in heme iron, an important nutrient found in meat sources such as poultry, pork, lamb, and especially in red meats, like beef. These types of food are not only rich in iron, but also contain significant amounts of vitamin B12. Vitamin B12 partners with iron to boost the creation of red blood cells which in turn enhances your body's ability to store and transport oxygen more effectively. 9. Yoga and Meditation High stress levels can lead to rapid, shallow breathing, reducing oxygen intake. Incorporate yoga into your daily routine to enhance your blood oxygen levels. Yoga combines physical postures, deep breathing exercises, and meditation to improve overall health. Focus on yoga styles that emphasize breath control, such as hatha or pranayama, to maximize oxygen intake. As you move through various poses, concentrate on breathing deeply and evenly, filling your lungs with air and then slowly releasing it. This practice not only increases oxygen flow throughout your body, but also reduces stress, boosts lung capacity, and promotes a sense of well-being. So, what are some conditions that can cause low oxygen levels in your blood? Low blood oxygen happens for many reasons, such as lung problems, heart issues, being at high altitudes, sleeping disorders, not having enough red blood cells, breathing in harmful gas, taking certain medicines, or having a severe lung condition called ARDS. Problems like COPD, pneumonia, Fluid in the lungs, scarred lung tissue, and asthma make it hard for your lungs to get enough oxygen into your blood. Heart defects from birth or heart failure can also stop your body from getting enough oxygen. Breathing in carbon monoxide, which takes the place of oxygen in your blood, is dangerous too. Also, some medicines might make it harder to breathe or carry oxygen in your blood. If you suspect you have low oxygen levels, especially if experiencing symptoms like shortness of breath, dizziness, or a rapid heartbeat, it's important to seek medical attention promptly. Thank you for watching 10 Signs You Have Low Blood Oxygen on Healthy Vibrance. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Our goal is to bring you the best health content because our wish for you is to be healthy and vibrant. See you in the next video.